Oh, sorry. I mean, not good luck, break a leg. Be funny, it's not, it's not theater, you can say good luck. <laughs> Be funny, damn it. Do you have water, Drew? Are yeah, I got some over here. Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. I'm getting nervous too. I'm like, oh my god, I'm nervous for your show. I'm like, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. It feels good in this room. So now, is all bust up anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> no, look at this thing. You just add it to the character. <laughs> is that the worm? Yeah. No, about the worm. Yeah, we got to talk about this. We guitar. don't. It's on my list. Yeah, yeah. Yay, look at our cute show. It's about to start. All right, stand by. I'm gonna this one's up. getting there. I'm it's chipping them. I'm chipping away at it. Yeah. <laughs> Song, the big old, 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 big Manao at home. That's right. We are live from the gorgeous backlit Buddha studios here in the central Maui. So blessed to do the show. This is number 48. Can you believe it? Thanks so much for tuning in. I've been so grateful to be able to interview and get to know and also feature a variety of acts from Maui. I mean, this year we've had Murray Thorne, Connie Koa. Last year we ended with John Cruz. Uh, it was so nice to have Rowdy Love in the studio last year time and this week we have a very special Maui boy and he's going to be sharing an eclectic um, set and also just talk story about what's going on with him. He's a very exciting artist. Before I forget I want to give mad love to the Buddha crew. That's Tempa, Michelle, Johnny and Naor. If it wasn't for them we wouldn't be able to do this every week so mahalo to them. Thank you so much. you got to check out Backlit Buddha Studio. This place is fire. It's such an exciting time. Community hub for musicians and artists alike and in fact, we got Chino doing comedy in another room, so pretty much you can make your dreams happen here at Backlit Buddha Studios. Mahalo to Manao Radio, and of course, I'm Trisha Dish from The Weekly Dish, and I'm so blessed to be able to be a music journalist here on Maui. This week, we have a very exciting artist. I became familiar with him through my friend Cody, who was our whiz uh, and the sonic world here. Thank you, Cody Quintana. And he was like, man, you got to get to know this guy, Drew Martin. And then he emailed me a few times and I was like, okay. And then I started watching his videos. Not much of a presence online, but once I do dove in, oh, I was hooked. And you're going to be hooked too. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to get to know the one and only singer songwriter, multi multifaceted music man. I'm just really excited to hang out with you today. Yeah. The one and only Drew Martin. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we have a humble talent today. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you so this much is, for being it, here. I feel like we were talking earlier, like we've been each other's like missing link exactly. for a while. Yeah, so good to I meet. I vibed with you immediately, and yeah. I was really happy to talk story with you on the phone. I was actually looking at my notes, yeah. <laughs> and it was so funny to see like the little shorthand. Mm -hmm. It was like all the way from like talking about the meters to fried chicken. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, I really like this guy. Yeah. This is going to be an easy talk story show. So yeah. Yeah. thank you for being here. This is what I'm going to call Drew Day. Yeah. Because it's... 
double header for you today. Manao mm -hmm. Radio is like your biggest fan. So Manao Radio brings you Manao at home. And then tonight you're going to be at Pro Arts for your Aloha show. Yeah, a little back to back today. So. I heard there's only 10 tickets sold. I feel or 10 it. tickets left. Yeah, so. <laughs> there's just a handful left over there. So it's yeah. going to be a fun night tonight. Yeah. So, yes, thanks so. for sharing your energy right now. Thank and you. And yesterday you kind of took some mana time. You were diving and yeah. went out looking for shells, went fishing a little while. Yeah. So. Catch anything? No, but I was talking to them earlier. It's just one of those days I just caught the sun. Like, I still feel a little tender on my yeah. back. Like, I just got sunburned yesterday. So. You caught a sun kiss, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, today we're going to be sharing all originals. Uh, I got a, I got maybe one or two I might do. Okay, I, I cool. like some old. I wanted to do a cover actually for our buddy Cody who's a running. A little cover for Cody, yeah. wonderful. So something that he And if you guys have been watching, Backlit Buddha Studios has been helping produce these great videos. We'll talk all about oh, that. Yeah. Drew, we could have a two-hour so, show. Yeah. I just met you. You're such an intriguing character. He's also brought, you know, a collection of beautiful string instruments over here. We've got ook. We've got two, what, three, yeah, three guitars. Oh, and the famous worm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll dig into the worm guitar too. Yeah. What are you gonna start off with today? Uh, I'll start with this song I wrote in Kipaniwai Park. Wonderful. So for Eau, I'll play a bunch of my the originals I'm doing today are all songs I wrote in the Eau Valley. Yeah. So I'll start with this one for Kipaniwai Park. Yeah, it's called Valley. So. It was one of those that I feel didn't like I didn't write them. It was just something else kind of moved through. So the Menahunis wrote this song. Yeah, <laughs> try them out. Yee. For Eow. Thanks for having me. Must away How many nights did the shooting stars go by? How many times I've been pushed around these streets? How many roads have the rusted wheels been on? Distance lies a piece of my heart In the forest, the dancing feet will move In the dark, in the river, my worries flow right over me Down in that valley is where I dream to be One single doubt in my mind Push me back behind Just one single doubt in my mind Lead me far behind You are not crying I cry You cry I cry Sitting and thinking I was wondering blue How do I stop these old visions of you? How do I stop those echoing sounds? Echoing sounds, sounds Sounds, 
Just one single doubt in my mind Can push me back behind Just one single doubt in my mind Lead me far behind I cry You cry And I cry You cry I cry I found in you And you gave me everything I knew Help me grow, watch me fly Pull me back down from that old sky Cut the lines, I'm caught between And all that you are, you took from me. Let me go, release me free. And leave me alone. Take me back. Take me back to that old, to that old valley. Oh, good. Wow. <laughs> I got chicken skin on the first song. It's going to be a good show. Oh, my goodness. It's oh. so wonderful to see a singer-songwriter use every part of that guitar. You're not, you know, you're, sonic, you're not just playing notes. You're, liter- you're playing all the, like, so many different parts. It's so beautiful to see. Thank you. So thank you so much. And your voice. I didn't expect that voice. Yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, talking story with you, I had no idea your voice is like... I don't know. It calls attention. It's really interesting. Like, I feel like you have something to say. Like, it's beautiful. So thank you so much for... Oh, this is so cool, thank Drew. You. Yes. <laughs> thank you. And by the way, we will be doing... Drew is like... Look at all these. He has six different string instruments. He'll be picking up and playing. That's, That's Cody Quintana, our sonic wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I got everything with me for the gig tonight. So yes. I figured, you know what? Bring them up the stairs. Bring them in here. Let's I see what happens. It. Yeah. <laughs> see what I end up playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Drew will be at Pro Arts tonight. If you'd like to see a full concert with him tonight, and you've got some friends opening up Seta and Sam Frampton yeah it's yeah. gonna be a really great show I heard there's like 10 tickets left I think so, so go to yeah. proartsmaui.com we love Lynn and everything they're doing there it's a beautiful listening room got some exciting things going on they do music comedy theater burlesque they do it all it's it's pretty much yeah they do it's fantastic yeah. maybe we'll get and some burlesque up here at Backlit Buddha Studios that's actually just, what I'm doing tonight yeah <laughs> 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 Break out the old, see if the Sears jeans come off tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we, we were talking about this earlier. Drew, you have vintage jeans on. Those are from Sears. Yeah, this collector's item. I was going to yeah. say, you put that on Facebook uh, Marketplace, you're going to get, <laughs> we have a little yeah. bit section. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're also sporting fashion from Mr. Sandel. Oh, yeah. He's my, he's always been a good friend of mine. And mm-hmm. he did the cover art for my album. And so. Yes, the song you played before was on that album. If you guys don't know, it's called The Valley. Yeah. And there is no more vinyl out there. And today he actually gave Cody as a gift the final 
final. It was such a cool moment between friends. Yeah. And that's really cool. And your new album, which we'll be talking about, you're a believer in vinyl. You want to press your new album as yeah. a, your LP is a vinyl. Got to have them on the record because, yeah. you know, I grew up with all the old Neil Young and the meters and mm -hmm. the funk and all that stuff on the, on the vinyl. So when I was doing mine, I was like, no, I got to have them. You got to have them on the record. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep I them going. I appreciate that. Yeah. Because so, they're back now, too. You know? I know. It's yeah. so good. You know, they sold them more. They, they outsold everything this year. That's what I heard. For the this first time ever. First Christmas. time we're outsold the CD sales. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's a, so. Even online. I yeah, like that's it. about time, you know? Yep. It's a really cool collectors. And you have such a unique sound. And I love what we were talking about on the phone. You're like, I got to get this music out of me. Mm -hmm. Like, because you want to produce more music. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I've got other things going on, but I've had these songs forever. I want to get them out of me. So mm -hmm. we're expecting a new CD soon mm -hmm. or an LP or yeah. new full length album. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's part of my journeys going back to the mainland, too, is maybe get some recording done. and Because oh. I'm sitting on this batch of songs. So yeah. Get well, we'll talk to, more about that yeah, in the yeah. next segment. But what do you have in your hand is something that you yeah. had since you were a little kid. You said that you grew up with an ook in your hand. Yep. I guess when you're born and raised on Maui, they just hand you an ook. And they're it's, like, here you go. Here's your bottle. Here's your ook. It's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a, just small, very small. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. I knew I had to play this one today. He's tuned in. I know he's tuned in right now. Is my friend Rand, who uh, he came to a few of my paia shows, and he's liking what I was doing. And he makes ukes and guitars, and he made this for me. It's all solid koa wood um, from Kula, and this thing feels it's crazy for how small it is, the sound you can get out of it. So I, can't wait. I knew I had to do one for Rand today on his uke. Yeah. Well, well, this one's for Rand. We're yeah. here with Drew Martin. Aloha. Okay. This is my newest song. It's called Pu'u Vai. So. And I wrote it as this real like slack key guitar thing. But I've been figuring it out as a real quiet uke song. I'm going to try them out in this style today. Pu'uvai. For the tablelands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So true When I listen Mauna Leo I found myself in you Sitting on this quiet hillside Oh here lay who are in blue All the places I remember Seem to fade away too soon Hold on to your paradise Dry your wings and wipe your eyes Take me where Pueo flies Open up your Pu'uvai Open up your Pu'uvai Remember your name, 
ไทยนาลู Remember your name, t a i n a l u Hey. Dry your wings and wipe your eyes. Take me where p u e o flies. Open up your p u e o eyes. Open up your p u e o eyes. Spread your wings and take to. The sky. Spread your wings and take to the sky. Wander as a way with me. Walking, walking in the cloud supreme. Wander as a way with me. Walking when I go walking in the cloud supreme. It's your heart, the spirit of your heart. Yeah. That's so, that song with all the madness going on, I just I wrote it. I wrote it kind of in the start of this pandemic, and um, just not to lose sight of that because that's the source of all your aloha. Don't Absolutely. let anybody touch that. So, yeah. <laughs> Beautifully and profoundly said. Thank you so much. You said you were hiding in the bushes in Hana yeah. during COVID. Not a bad place to be. Yeah. <laughs> and were you finding inspiration? I know that. The Valley, of course, mm-hmm. your album, and you know, being. I'm sure Hana is just oozing with inspiration every day. Yeah. What is it like staying in Ahana so much? That's why you're so chill. It's yeah. You're like Kaba. <laughs> like hanging out with you makes me so like mellow. <laughs> Naturally, no, it's it's the best. Yeah, just to go out there and feel, you know, just to be quiet. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm always writing when I go out there. I always have my backpack, guitar case I bring with me. And there might be a little some supplies in there, yeah. So and I get my writing done, and you need yeah. some supplies. So you do, yeah. You, you gotta do. stay hydrated on the trails. <laughs> yeah. Hydrated on the trails, I like that. In yeah. your hand is the famous worm. This is the worm guitar. I, yeah. I think that somebody said was, "Have you seen his worm guitar?" <laughs> I was like, "I'm sorry, excuse me." <laughs> it's thing, Inappropriate. Yeah. yeah. Yes. See, listen, shake. Tell it, me about this epic piece. Your brother did the artwork. Yeah. This, uh, this this guitar has stories. He, he was. He, he used to have some arms. He was holding. A, <laughs> there's one left. If you look close, he's holding some beers. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but he used to have arms, and he had like maybe six beers on him. But I've scraped them off over the years. So <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this thing's been around with me. Oh man, all the journeys up. I moved out to Seattle before the pandemic, so it's been. 12 years I've been playing this thing every show in Seattle, and I got known. <laughs> People used to see the guitar before they saw me <laughs> at the shows, yeah. And it's got all the broken string heads in there. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that because I break them so often, and I used to it used to be like hard to get them out of there. So I just leave like, them in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go with the sound. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Cash has a guitar like that, and of course, Billy Willie's Nelson. guitar. Yeah, Willie's yeah. Trigger. Trigger. Yeah. Yep, still, as well. Still going. Yeah. And then stickers. You made stickers of the yep. worm. Very smart. So that has been my yeah. I got stickers at the show of just the the worm face. Yeah. <laughs> You're an artist yourself. Yeah. Do you? Lo- I love that so. picture you did. You look like a big, delicious, 
art cookie yeah. <laughs> for your poster yeah yeah and you, one day you said i was listening to the meters i was feeling funky mm-hmm. let's do the chicken strut yep. and then you came up with that then it's fun because living in i live in paia i've okay. been seeing your posters everywhere mm-hmm. but i see that art first yeah so it's really fun has art always been a part of your life since you were since you can remember your yeah. first memory yeah always painting drawing as a kid yeah wonderful so, uh, yeah born mm-hmm. and raised on maui yep Lucky. So Wailuku, yeah, always Wailuku so side, yeah. yeah. Going to Wonderful. Oka supermarket, <laughs> yeah. all the old spots, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I can't wait to hear more, guys. Thank you so much for being here. By the way, this is technically a gig. This guy's double header today. So you can text um, some Venmo money. That's at Drew Hey Now, at Drew Hey Now. And also, it's up on the screen. And then, of course, Cody, Quintana, and our excellent audio team today they're at cq audio on venmo mahalo to kevin who is on sound as well i know you've been working with kevin we'll be talking about the videos next Those two and we guys. have the man yeah. here johnny pinata <laughs> come on yeah working his camera he got him. mr hardgrove he does it all <laughs> he got him <laughs> all right cool what do you have next for us drew thanks so much for being here you're such a delight thank you this is for you this next one big, Yay, big old sky, big old sky yeah James. so throw them out to you yeah a little joyful feeling for the uh, Suriname cherry tree. I wrote it under the cherry tree up in Iao. Yeah. <laughs>
Get about those old fearless years Take me off to another time For all I've done is left so, so far Behind In that big old sky Do I want to take a ride fangirl moment over here yeah i was like i'm so lucky i just get to see this live right in front of me i've been listening to this song over and over yeah. do, 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 you said that, you had that last part in that your last head. part yeah. i'm like i can't sing very well but i was like oh chino's been like what are you singing yeah. <laughs> i swear it's really good i'm just not <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's such a special song thank you it really is like i just love it it's just a great composition and i love Oh, yeah, I, I made this under a cherry tree. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Like, how many people in the world can say, I mean, I love that you take the natural elements and it becomes part of who you are. You literally, you feel like you belong in nature. Like the, all these videos you're doing, yeah, yeah, the essence of them, you're not in some studio, you know, you're not like feeling fancy. You're not out on the town with money and like babes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, that's the vibe I got from you. Yeah, but, yeah. But, that's the next one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's after you go to Seattle, right? Yeah, yeah. And you come yeah. big time. But I love that, you know, you just went to Eau Valley and you were mm -hmm. in the uh, gardens yeah. or, you know, you went down in e Why? Yeah. Is that something you've always wanted to do, is take the elements from nature and bring them into your music, your inspiration? Yeah, yeah, and that's that's part of my whole um, thing when I'm playing is to bring people to Iao when I'm playing, you know, to make them feel like, hey, I'm up there. Because when I'm playing that song, boom, I'm right under that tree again. I'm sitting on that hill. So, And that's why these videos have been so special because um, where we've been filming, that's where I wrote. Like that big old sky, that's where I wrote that song. So, oh, wonderful. Right there. So, right outside that house under the breadfruit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's been my spot. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. So just to sit there and play the songs that I wrote right there and to have it captured in this way with these guys doing it, 
It was chicken skin, yeah. Keep coming back, watching those videos and tears coming down. So Absolutely. It's been and a, it stars Gus Gus, who was our stage manager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a little sing-off, yeah. A little wolf there in between. Yeah. And, you know, I was actually thought you were so intriguing. I couldn't find you on Facebook. There was a little bit of band camp about you. And then all of a sudden, I went to your Instagram. You just started January 2022. Yeah. Like, you just started your Instagram. Mm -hmm. But everything you've been putting out are these extraordinary videos i mean the videos and you're just pumping them yeah yeah i mean some people so, do a music video every two years mm -hmm. you've done like six <laughs> yeah we have this and whole... cody said you want more and yeah. you're hungry <laughs> i know we were i was just gonna do one session with them i was thinking out oh, maybe just three songs and kevin it, and cody it, that... it felt too yeah. good with these guys so i had to i called them up and let's do another session yeah mm -hmm. and so we have a whole series we've been we're sitting on uh this sunday will be the last one Ooh. um but i do have two more Kind of in the back pocket that I might put put out maybe later on, yeah, Wonderful. just just to have them, yeah. So and I think someone like you, a music video is really important because mm -hmm. it shows your essence. You know, you could maybe have something on a recording, but yeah. I think your energy is what also allures people to the music. Yeah. You're a fantastic singer, songwriter, musician, but your energy, you love it. This yeah. is you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so that's why to have a day like this where I get to play all day. This, I know. This, this is me. At first, my, I was nervous yeah. <laughs> when I found out that you were double headering. And mm -hmm. I was like, um, I don't know. Because some people come here and it takes them a minute to prepare, mm -hmm. you know, and to get into the zone. And then to have to go somewhere else and to get into the zone. I didn't necessarily think you were going to be able to do it, mm -hmm. but I didn't know you. <laughs> and now I'm like, shoot, this guy could do a triple header. <laughs> Anybody need a late night show? It, yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> like what I was saying earlier when I first came in, it's like, that right there is just that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to scream. Yeah. Take me to the top of EL Needle. Scream oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're so grateful to have you here at Backlit Buddha Studios here on Manao at Home. I'm Trish Dish. We're here live and lively with Drew Martin. The only, the one and only. There's no one like you. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you. What are you going to share with us next? This one I'm going to do for Cody in the back. Woo! Wherever he's hiding. What's he? Probably eating malasadas yeah. back there. Yeah. He's drinking wine directing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll be eating malasadas. We do have some malasadas over here. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to send this one out to him. It's an old John Prine song. So, yeah. Because after doing all these videos, uh, we learned that about each other. It's like, wait. You know this John Prine song? No, you don't know this John Prine song. <laughs> and you know this Lyle Love It song? No, you don't know that song. <laughs> so, yeah, that video here you guys did was yeah. excellent. We've been having too much fun over here. <laughs> yeah. So I'll send it out to him wherever he's hiding back there. Probably sleeping in the back. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Souvenirs, old John Prine, yeah. The snow has turned to water Christmas days have come and gone Broken toys and faded colors Are all that's left to linger on I hate graveyards and old pawn shops for oh, they always bring me tears Can't forgive the way they rob me Of my childhood souvenirs Memories can't be bought They can't be won And the carnival's for free Took me years to get those souvenirs And I don't know how they slipped away from me
broken hearts and dirty windows make life difficult to see. That's why last night and this morning, always looking the same to me. And I hate reading old love letters. For they always bring me tears Can't forgive the way they rob me Of my sweetheart's souvenirs Memories can't be bought Can't be won And the carnival's for free Took me years to get those souvenirs And I don't know how they slipped away from me I don't know how they slipped away from me Yeah, <sighs> nice little song. There. They're going crazy. Yeah, in the studio. Woo! Oh, yeah. Ow! ow! <laughs> that was a beautiful one. Thank you. John Prime is one of those that oh. he has so many songs. Yeah. That everyone has a different favorite song. He's not one of those like you know cliche. Oh, these are the three songs. No, yeah. everyone has a special relationship with that artist. Yeah, yeah. And it's really. And you grew up listening to him, obviously. Bob Dylan, I see George Harrison, yeah, um, yeah. of course, um, Neil Young, and mm -hmm. funk. I love that you said funk and blues, mm -hmm. but your music, you're like almost Hawaii blues, which I always like, like hope, like blues and rap in Hawaii, I'm always like suspicious. Yeah. I'm like, really, what are you going through here? Like, you know, it ain't the streets of Kihei, you know, or like <laughs> Southside Chicago, yeah. but you almost are, are like a happy blues. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Well, you, it's like a really beautiful, you've created your own style, you know? You. And I know you said you grew up slack key, you know, maybe an ook in your hand. But, yeah. I mean, you are definitely created your own style. Did you find that just from playing live? or Because I don't feel like you're playing, you're not trying to honor any musician or playing homage. You're just playing music that comes through you mm -hmm. as a combination of things that you've heard your whole life. So yeah. when it comes to influences, is it anyone from Hawaii that really touched you or is it somebody classic like Neil Young? It's kind of a little combination of both, mm -hmm. you know, listening to the old slack key, um, like Uncle Dennis Kamakahi, is one of my favorite slack key players. Yeah, that guy is. Legend. And he was a writer too, you know, like mm -hmm. that's like that's all his songs. Um so yeah, Uncle Dennis, and then some of like the old. Uh, I love the old folk blues, like um, that Mississippi John stuff. Nice. Yeah, he's one of my favorite blues guys, uh, Mississippi John Hurt, and like Sonny Terry, and Brownie McGee. Ooh. It was like this, um, you know, blues duo, just a harmonica and guitar duo. Um, and then Van Morrison. Van Morrison is one of my all time. Yeah, Astro Weeks. That album oh. really did change my whole, the way I wrote songs yeah like now open, when, yeah, when you're in seattle mm -hmm. what is the vibe of there do they ex like are you something unique different do you see someone that's similar to you i don't really know what seattle what's going on now uh, they, it's been so well i mean of course grunge and you yeah, know electronic yeah. music scene comedy but There's, where do you fit in because you're in love seattle's part of your heart yeah they, so tell me a little bit about your connection with seattle they've been good to me up there yeah <laughs> they like um I think they needed because my music is more just uplift, you know, <laughs> some, your some joy. Yeah, they needed somebody to laugh and scream at them a little bit. Yeah, give them a little kick. So, yeah, and it's been that six years that I was up there. I got some beautiful memories playing those shows and a lot of joy and everybody screaming back. And so, just to be able to go back to that feeling again, it's gonna be good. When do yeah. we lose you? We're sad. I got just about a month left. Oh. Actually, the end of this month. Oh. Yeah. So We're only yeah. you come back. 
I'll be back. Yeah. Promise. So I'm. Yeah, I'll be back. Six months LA. I mean, six months Seattle. Six months Maui. That's kind of that was my goal before all this pandemic hit was to do these. <laughs> right. Yeah. To do these loops. So I'm finally. I'm gonna... COVID messed up a lot of mojo for a lot yeah. of the performance. <laughs> and so, now you were telling me how excited you were. One of your venues that you love yeah. was actually closed down, and now they're reopening. Tell us a little bit about the Sunset. The Sunset Tavern. Yeah, it's my old spot. Oh. That's the that's the spot for me. The <laughs> best memories up there, and so I knew that my first show back there is on April third. It would be the first show. One back. month from today. Yep. So, yee, yee. <laughs> I can't that's wait. your welcome back show. Yeah. So tonight, Ahui Ho at the Pro Arts, mm-hmm. and then one month from today, Aloha. <laughs> yeah, it's just Aloha Seattle. Yeah. So, oh, I bet and, you're buzzing. How do you travel with this many guitars? Who do you pick? Who comes? That, that's what I'm, that really is <laughs> The mandolin's my, its own checked bag. Yeah. <laughs> that really is the glitch right now. I'm still figuring out how I'm going to get all this stuff over there. Yeah. Uh, does anybody have a mandolin? Yeah, or not a mandolin, sorry. A banjo. Yeah. Your banjo. I think I am going to actually. You're going to bring it? I, I'm going to actually borrow one of my friend's banjos. Mm-hmm. But I'm probably just going to bring the worm, the 12 string and the uke and some p- couple pairs of bibbities and I'll be good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you play with a trio sometimes. Yeah. Are you used to? Yeah, I had an electric group up there too. So break out the electric guitar and the drums and yeah. Oh, how fantastic. So, but this first show back in Seattle at the Sunset um it's going to be like this just strip just, Okay, wonderful. I wanted to have it be like this real quiet cuz you rarely see that in that venue. It's more of like this rock venue. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to just strip it all down and show up with like these quiet songs and see how quiet we can get that yes. space yeah <laughs> well they're just going to be so happy to have you back everyone's I, just going to be like <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait to see everybody too yeah well we're here live with drew so. martin i'm so happy thank you so guys thank you guys so much for tuning in of course you can tip him via Venmo at drew hey now that's also his instagram He's yeah. hot on Instagram. He got yeah. a couple hundred followers. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're Pick building it. it. Watch We're... out. Yeah. <laughs> but every one of your posts is extraordinary. It's a music video. It's a piece of art you did. It's a story about Hana. I mean, mm-hmm. you're really an exceptional man. Like, we're really excited to have you as a Maui talent. So come, thank keep you. it going. Keep it flowing. Thank you. Thank yes. you. What do you got next for us? Uh, we're running out of time. I'm sad. Yes, it was this. Dear Lord. You think this might got, be the... No, we got two more times. Okay. You got okay. two more songs. Okay. Um, what do you got for this next? This one, I'll do a little funkier one. Woohoo! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's called A Rocky to the Rhythm of the Ocean. This is actually an old, um, it's this guy, John Angayak. Not too many people know about him. He's nice a, name. Yeah, he's an Inuit guy. And there's an album out. It's called I'm Lost in the City. They put it out on a, I found it on this Seattle label, Light in the Attic Records. And I found this song in there and connected with it. So send it out to John Angayak and my Alaskan buddies. Yeah. <laughs> Rhythm of the Ocean. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you ever want to travel, come to my home. I know how it feels to see something different. The time is now. Far away from far away, you come for the ocean. I'll rock you to the rhythm of the ocean. You will begin to know the silent ocean It's very rich with its own life You can look through, look above you On the ocean Rhythm of the ocean Rock you to the rhythm of the ocean hey! If you want to come again On your side I'll be waiting right there By the meadows By the ocean You 
will begin to know that silent ocean is very rich with its own life. You can look through, look above you on the ocean. No. I'll rock you to the rhythm of the ocean. Rock you to the rhythm of the ocean. Felt good. It's feeling good in here. Funky. I don't want this to end. Yeah, I, I mean, this is one of my favorite shows. I say that every show. <laughs> it really is one of my favorites. Drew, you're extraordinary. And you know what? Our friend Chris Dack says hello. He's watching. Oh yeah, yeah. He used to play with Chris Dack back in the day. Back yeah. in the day, Homebrew. That was our band name. <laughs> we had this little like. Oh, I like that name. Yeah. How fun. Like a garage rock blues oh, band. Oh, yeah. fantastic! And you can check out Drew on Bandcamp. You yeah. can find the album there. That's where I was listening to it. And also, hey, so Drew, hey now. Is the Instagram, and, yeah. And then we'll be expecting a new album. Yeah. you got to get that music out. It's, I love how you said that. Just so, because you have so much creative charisma, you need to get it out yeah. so you can make room for more. That's it. That's the only way you can get the new ones to come exactly. is to get rid of the old <laughs> feeling, yeah. And so. Seattle is such a, you know, I think that you're sunshine in Seattle, like we talked about it. You're going to go there and... Oh, and shake even more, up. yeah, shake it up, even <laughs> yeah. more creative. And of course, stop by Adele's. Is that? Oh, uh, Adele's. Uh, fried, is that, uh, yeah. Adele's fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken, that's baby. Good. We were talking, what's going to be my first stop in <laughs> Seattle? Fried chicken at Adele's. Yeah. Like everyone's <laughs> like, they come here, get poke, get a musubi, but no, you're like, Yep. You go to Seattle, you're like, fried chicken, baby. Get my Rainier beer <laughs> and go get my spice, uh, three piece spicy from Adele's with. That's um, a- uh, baked beans and collard greens. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm mm, coming. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm that's, coming. Yeah. That's like just feels good. It's yeah. like comfort food. Oh. That's like your music. Let's. I wish we market it. Comfort music. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do some housekeeping real quick. Oh, okay. I just want to say aloha to Michael Elam. He's not here right now, but oh, we love him yeah. so much. He's our managing director yeah, and one buddy. of the producers of the show as well. Mahalo to all of his hard work for keeping Manao Radio live and lively. And of course, we're going to be having a 20 year anniversary party. That's right, 20 years on the air. Yeah. And very exciting. That's going to be March 26th at Mulligan's on the Blue. The Soul Kitchen's going to be there. Dr. Nat and Rio Ritmo. And of course, Moss. And I'll be emceeing. 
with Duncan Mac. It's going to be a really good time. So mahalo to them. Also, don't forget musicians. There's a really cool free asset for you. It's called Music Tonight. And it's a website. It's kind of like a calendar for Maui's music scene. So if you want to play music, you want to get your uh, gigs up there, go to Music Tonight. And this show wouldn't be possible without our underwriters. That's right, Da Playground Maui, Maui's multifaceted live music venue in Ma'alaya. And then, of course, the family business that I love and adore, Venture Physical Therapy. So thank you so much for supporting. I actually, this is the first time I've met you, met you. But I kind of was like walking home from Mana Foods one day. And you were playing a jam and I'm Maui. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's Drew. <laughs> like, I just heard it, and I'm like, that's true. That's the one I've been hearing. And you literally covered last minute. Yeah. They, they called you like, yo, in 20 minutes, can you get th- down here? That's how it was. I was hanging out with him. Yeah, with, really? Yeah. With, <laughs> I was with Cody that all day, and I was like, oh. You're such a renegade. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shake him up. Yeah. Like, Let's yeah, do yeah. this. That's what happens. You get me out of the bushes. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so happy you came out of the bushes. Yeah. Jamming on Maui, I want to give them a shout to Joey Dog and all the cool things that they're doing there. They're right there in Paia. So right at the intersection of... Um, Baldwin and Hana Highway. There's a space right over there, and they've been doing some great live shows it's for free. I mean, three to five is playing this weekend. Yeah, twice. They're fantastic. I know Kevin Garland that, is really excited. Come on, now, <laughs> that man. one back there. Yeah, and I'm just really excited to have Rabbit there. It was Jessica Kanoa and um, Jordan Kamikawa. They're oh. kind of like a R&B funk sultry soul band, oh, okay. and they've got a fantastic sound. They're going to be playing there next Friday. That's the 11th. And yeah, lots of cool stuff coming up. Don't forget, next week we're going to be back here with Manao at Home. We have Arli Asu and his band. And that includes Michael Elam, who finally gets to be in front of the camera, which we're very excited about. They're a wonderful ukulele string band, and I'm really excited to have them. And then I just booked Silky Sister for April 14th. That's right. We got our girl here, Baby Benoit, is all grown up and playing her own goodness. We can't wait to have her. And I'm just really happy... Man, episode number 48. It's astounding to think 48 different acts on Maui. And it's, everyone's been someone different. Yeah. Someone different. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Some players are interchangeable. Justin Morris is probably our VIP. He's been on the most. Oh, okay. But it's really exciting. And Drew, I'm so happy you got to be part of this before you left. Thank you for taking hey. time out of your bustling schedule from the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tonight at Pro Arts. You're yeah. going to be putting on your Hui Ho show. Ten yeah. tickets left, I think. Get yeah. down there. Much love to everybody who's doing music. And creating goodness. Thank you. I don't want the show to end, but this is the last song. Yeah. (laughs) I'm very sad. You're wonderful. And you know how wonderful he is? He brought us malasadas. Come on. From homemade. Yeah. Yeah. I was shoving malasadas in my mouth, okay, (laughs) before we started. And I was like, you know what? This is how you make Trisha Dish love you. No, that's all. (laughs) Dessert and music. You're in my heart forever. Thank you so much, brother. I can't wait to explore your, your new album. Mm-hmm. And we're just really happy to have you here. What's your last song today? Come on. Thank you. Uh, this one is called uh, Gator. It was an old song I used to play with with Chris, with, with Ooh, CB. What's up, so, Beck? Yeah. Um, and it's a little song for today, all the stuff going on. So I'll send it out to CB, Chris, listening out there. I used to call him CB because that's the, the drum... Name yes. was CB, so CB. <laughs> and thank you guys for having me. This has been special. Thank you. Okay. Where's your feet? Find the street. Where to go? But below. Who are you? Get a clue. Find your head and make it through these days. Avoid the people standing in your way. What's your goal? Find the answer. Where you going? Find direction. All the places we have mentioned. Blowing up inside the TV screen With all the crazy things you see Why? Why? 
devastation By the devastation By Good to break them now before the gig. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We'll restream before Pro Arch. I'm enjoying these Malasadas. Thank you so much, Drew. Thank you. What an hey. exceptional artist and what an awesome person. I had a great time hanging out with you. You're Thank a wonderful you. soul. I can't wait to sit on a porch swing and listen to your next album, Drinking Some Whiskey. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Mahalo to everybody hey. for tuning in. Sorry, I've got Malasada in my mouth. Mmm. This is the way to do life. <laughs> Live music and malasadas. I'm Trisha Dish for Manao at Home. Mahalo for tuning in. Don't forget to follow Drew online at Drew Hey Now. And also check him out. He's going to be at Pro Arts tonight for his Ahui show. I can't thank you guys enough for being here. Hey, thank you. Mahalo to Cody Quintana and the CQ Audio team. That's Kevin Naor. And of course, Johnny Pinata was here in the flesh today. Mahalo to Backlit Buddha Studios and Manao Radio. And mahalo to my man Chino for being here and always backing me up and supporting. I love you guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Drew! Come on! Thank you! Ahui ho, sweetie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, look at <laughs> Keeping track of these angles over here. <laughs> Keep it real for the homeschool. Aloha! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was like one of my favorite shows, for sure. <laughs> Thank good. you so much. Yeah, How'd it go? Good, I gotta go sign out of the comedy show. Okay. <laughs> we did it all! Yay! Come on. Dude, that was it's so insane. good. Yeah. So good? Yeah. That was really good. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. This is a job. special little thing you guys Isn't got this? going on. I know. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. 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 This is how it's Isn't been. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you can stuff this. 
We're probably still on the stream. Uh, anyway, this yeah. place fucking rocks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice this is so nice so meeting you. You're a good one. Thank you. I'm keeping you on my radar. Yeah. This is you a keeper. True, buddy. That's so good, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Thank freaking you. awesome. Yeah. You're awesome. Woo! You're like organically awesome. <laughs> I mean, I know you've definitely trained and you know you played a long time, but you feel it. Like the music is an extension of your awesomeness. Like, hell yeah! Come on, you the man. <laughs> Thank You're gonna you. have so much fun tonight. Oh, tonight is gonna it's gonna go deep because that's sh it's the only place on Maui. It's like a listening room. Absolutely. You know? So to be able to just like we love it there for comedy and theater. Yeah. And maybe like one or two singer songwriters. But big band, it doesn't really work, you know? Yeah. But it's beautiful for your kind of show. Because everyone's like... Oh. oh, yeah. And they can hear your stories and listen. That's why I like this. Mm -hmm. Because I'll have shows where people are, like, hanging out drinking. They don't get to, like, hear the in-between. Uh, yeah. And this is why I did this show, so we could hear the in-betweens. Get into some of the quiet moments, yeah, too. Yeah, quiet moments and learn about the guitar and your family and your travels. and. Come on. People don't listen when they're out sometimes. Yeah. You got to fight over the... Slice of pizza or no whatever. Shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Clinking bar glasses. Yeah. So Jeremy Jarvis says hello and he loves you. Oh yeah. He just texted me from LA. Bad boy. Hi. Bad that's, boy. Yeah. That's my buddy. Yeah. Huh? Good job. Hello. Another waiting. one. Another one. Another. Amazing. I always say it's my favorite, but dang it. I, um, if you bring me more asadas, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a group photo. Yes. Oh, we yeah. usually have a photographer. Um. I was very tempted in the middle when he had the malasada and the drink to go to you. Yeah, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> doing the end, I knew you were yeah. going to do something with the malasada. I was like, like I'm going to do the malasada at the end. <laughs> I was like, Malasada's chewing right. and talking. Amazing job, Drew. Hey, thank you. Yeah, we need a picture. It yeah. feels good in this room. Isn't this room beautiful? Yeah. You can scream in here. Cody, <laughs> 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 yeah. maybe I should block so we don't have to worry about anything in case somebody. Shit, I feel bad. Yeah. I got to just Let's dig out. Let's make like it easy on ourselves. It's Everybody did so wonderful today. We it was a great day. Yeah, it was we, we started on time. Yeah. Mom would be so mom and dad were here. Michael Elam and Tempo. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> See, this is hard for me to do like pack up fast. I'm always the one talking, yeah, talking. You know, yeah. messing around yeah. oh, you We'll take get a you photo. Yeah. yeah, so we we'll just do this one we'll real quick. We'll do a photo and then we'll get you your cake. What time is it now, Andy Maga? Five. Okay. Five. I'm a nap. Right if okay, we get time. As long as I'm out by like five turtles. Okay, five turtles. Yeah. <laughs> five turtles. Oh, five turtles. I know that's how he oh, talks. Yeah. Oh, we need to do fridge too, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, want me to take a photo? Yeah, I'll oh, take a photo. Sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll take. No, let's let you know, do it. Yeah, no argument. What What is it taking with? Your? I, Either one. Chino's good. Or whoever's the best one. Yeah, whoever. I'm actually glad I broke that string. That was perfect at yeah. the end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I did that one because I wanted to change that string anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Made it. All right. All right. Chino, come, come in. Let me take one with Chino. Sure. Right. Yeah, Chino. Get I'll that genius. <laughs> he plays music. He does comedy. What doesn't he do? <laughs> Windows. Saucier. <Sussier. laughs> Whoa. One, two, three. He don't even do the countdown at this guy. Thank you. I don't know. Probably half of them are blurry. <laughs> Johnny was loving it, by the way. He was today. killing it. He did a really, really good job. He did a really good job. So we forgot to talk Thank about you. the So good. Yeah. You know, so both right. camera operators really tempted to go to your oh, shoot when you do the rhythm. Yeah, like, <laughs> but the, the same thing. Yeah. So it's interesting. It's it's this is the first time someone fall. really pounded his foot. Oh, yeah. And I heard yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I thought something was going to fall back. It's <laughs> 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 like Drew goes How can we help you expedite? Okay, you get it together, then we'll help you. Like a little train. Sound good. help you out. I know, right? They're oh, yeah. so good. I had one of each. My I had favorite guest so far, Trish. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. 